Welcome to PDX Spotlight. I'm your host, Stephanie, and with us today we have Sawtell. Good evening, how are you? It's been a while since I've seen this place It's raining, it's falling But the birds still sing anyway Cause even if it's cold outside I can see the prayer of the fire Cause even if I break your always there To pick up the pieces I left over there It seems that Save me. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Thanks we got for having us. five of you today. We are missing one. Just want to note that. Who's missing today, Trent? Kel. Kel. Yeah. And what's his full name? Kel Sambor. Kel Sambor. Okay. <laughs> Say, it. Okay. Say, Say it. it. Say it. It's real. Whole Kel Sambor. Yeah. Nice. Trent, so you are the lead singer and yes. you also play guitar, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so I know that about you because we go way back, like yeah. two weeks ago. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I know a lot about him, right? So let's go ahead and uh, meet Joe here. And you are also a lead vocalist. I'm, I guess, I'm kind of a, the backup vocalist, though. I, I just help this guy out here, Beef. Oh. 
That's not true. He wears nice. lots of hats. Yeah. This guy, <laughs> he plays he's gonna guitar. Be busy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I play yeah. piano. I, he played percussion. He, he does a lot of. Things. I call myself jack a jack of all instruments because I'm not great at any of them, but I can play them all. Oh, he's so that's, he's modest. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. And Java, yes. I love your name. Thank Where'd you. It, let's talk about where that came from. Well, and, uh, my last name is Jobbins, and when I was in the eighth grade, I walked into my reading class, and uh, they did roll call, and uh, someone heard my name, Jobbins, like, like Jobbins the Hut, and so, <laughs> so anyways, yeah, people call me Jabba yes. after that, and it kind of stuck. So next we have Shandon, and you are the drummer. Yes, I am. Yes. Yeah, the drummers get the short end of the stick, you know why? I, the setup and breakdown is brutal. I, I would, I, every time I watch them drink, I'm just like, I want a beer. I, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody nah, helps the drummer, do nah, they? You know, it's, it's, I mean, it's your own area, though. It's my space. I was like, don't help. It's, That's it's right. fine, though. Yes. But something else is even the photographer, you know, there's always something in the way of the drummer, right? <laughs> That's, That's true. We can work on that. We have angles, That's right? Okay. <laughs> and then on the end, we have Brandon. And you play. Uh, that Fender Strat back there. I cannot move. Cannot breathe. When I saw you, I was hooked. When I saw you, I had to look in both directions. If only I saw the hurricane I fell into. I'm beaten down, I'm feeling bruised, I'm feeling like I'm such a fool.
are you the <laughs> only songwriter? Or does everybody contribute? Um, for the most part, yeah. I'm, I do a very skeleton version of the songs, you know, not even formatted yet, and I bring it to the guys, and each person's responsible for their own part, you know. Um, so I just put words with melody lines, with a couple chords, and then these guys turn it into a masterpiece, so. Very cool. I like that masterpiece. Yeah, right. yeah. That's a good way to put like it. Beautiful yeah. music. We yeah. like to share. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Collaborative. Yeah. It's definitely not a one person effort for that, for writing songs. Even though write the melody lines and words, you know, the drums and the guitar and the bass and even the backup vocal lines, I don't write those either. So it's it's hundred percent all of us. A couple songs that I want to ask about. One of them is The Stormy Waters. Um, mm -hmm. I think if anything's going to be a hit when people hear music, especially from original artists, that one, I think, is going to make it for sure. Interesting. Um, <laughs> with that said, can you tell me where that inspiration came from? Well, the original thought, I, was, um, I lived in Hawaii for a year, and that's how I met these guys. And um, I was headed to work. I was waiting for the bus. And the bus was always like an hour, two hours, three hours late sometimes. We have like two buses. That's yeah. <laughs> but they went around the wild. The whole island, right? Yeah. Yes. So I was sitting there and I had my guitar and, and uh, I was waiting for it. And I had this line pop in my head. And, you know, I'm wasting time, holding time, waiting for my ride to come to pick me up where I stand. And, and then it just kind of went off like wildfire from there. But it's just all about, you know, everything that you're doing in life. You're just wanting to get somewhere, you know. And it's always a storm. It's always some sort of chaos. It's always something that you're going through and trying to conquer. You know, so that's where the, that song came from.
Wasting time, holding time, waiting for my ride to come and pick me up where I stand. So we got three of you guys from Hawaii, and the three of you guys are actually from, from Malala. 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 And yeah. you guys went to school together too? Yeah, me and him did, and he was out before I got into school. He's yeah. a little older than us. I'm, I'm, the, old, I'm the old man. Okay. Yeah. Not that old, but he's no. pretty old. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Classic. <laughs> it's like a fine Vintage line. <laughs> well, and then speaking of, it's like, where did the name Sawtell come from? Well, there's a road um, in our hometown. It, it kind of goes up into the hills, up into nowhere, and uh, it's called Sawtell Road. And uh, when I first started playing music, I would go up there to write because I would lose cell phone reception. So um, I would just drive up there, hang out up there for hours on end, and just write and write and write and write and write. And so when we decided to name the, the band, you know, just kind of click. Plus, saw whatever we see, we're going to tell people about. So oh, look at that. What's been one of the most fun things about being um, musicians and artists and working together and being on stage? Honestly, I've been in a few bands. This is probably the most harmonious band. It's easy to work with these guys. And like, like I said before, it's pretty collaborative. And someone, you know, try to bring something to the table and come up with ideas together. And there's no, I mean, maybe there's minor band drama. There's going to be band drama in every band. But this band, it's to a very low minimum. Everybody gets along. We're like brothers. It's like being in a band with your brothers. It's really cool. Well, actually, Trent described it as being like in a marriage, right? Yeah. yeah. Right? It's like having a bunch of different yeah. girlfriends. I That's to be you, in a band. You got to keep them all happy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly what yeah. he hit on. So what do you guys do to get over the hurdles when there is a little bit of conflict there? What Play a little bit louder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I, I think what's, for me anyway, I can't, I can't speak for these guys, but like when you're hit with an issue or some sort of drama, you just let it roll off your back because it's not big enough to trump what we're doing as a band type thing. You know, like if I get upset with Brand or Brand gets upset with me and vice versa with everybody else, whatever that problem is, we can get over it. We can talk about it. We can figure it out. You know, we're brothers. We love each other. We're, you know, we, I don't want to be in any band but this one with these guys, so... I mean, I'll do whatever it takes at that point for me. Well, one of the things I think that meant a lot to what you shared with me was that it's through the conflict that makes it even better. Yeah. 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 I mean, if, if you look at bands that did great things, they all had their issues. I mean, the Beatles and all that. And it actually, in my opinion, it pushed them to greatness. Because if you just are happy with everything, you're not pushing yourself and they're not pushing you and you're not pushing them. And, you know, it just... I can honestly say I'm a better musician today than I was a year and a half ago just because these guys are in the band and just because of the things that we go through and we talk about and we challenge each other with. So. There you are In the middle of a dark white room Same dream I've been having every single night in June. The distant screams lead you down a corridor. That long lost feeling that you've been here before. And the lightning crashes in the middle of a room. Say night, struggle with the world is right. You be dancing with the devil.
there you are in the middle of a dark white room. I grew up around the music industry, my dad sang and, and uh, he played. I never thought anything about it until um, my senior year of high school. But my junior year, um, my best friend passed away and he always dared me to do something I would never do. So I would always make fun of people that were in choir, you know, and stuff like that. So my senior year, I was like, well, screw it. I'll just, I'll just go out for choir, you know, and then I ended up going out for theater. And, and if it wasn't for that, for him challenging me like that, you know, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't be a singer or a songwriter. I would have never picked up a guitar. You know, I would have just continued doing what I ever did, you know. And uh, I mean, I miss him, but I mean, a lot of the music and a lot of the passion behind it is because I'm, I miss him. And then there was a tribute that you wrote to him, just a lyric. Yeah, one of your songs. well, it's been really hard to, I mean, out of six, seven years of writing songs now, I, I've, I haven't been able to get past that hurdle of writing a song specifically for him. But um, in Stormy Waters, there's a part where it says, I had a friend that told me to take a chance and you'll see everything will be just fine. And that was about as close as I could get to <laughs> putting him in a song ever. So um, it was very hard to get over that when I first started writing it. But. What is the advice you would give someone really young, starting out, sharing that they're interested in music, want to be a musician? What would you advise them? Um, I, I would just tell them to keep at it. I mean, you just never know what's going to happen. I mean, just in the last six months, we've, we've really started gaining traction. And we've been at, I've, I've been at Sawtell for six years. And... Um, you know, good things come to those who work hard and wait and, and be patient with what they got and just to nose to the grindstone, keep writing and, and uh, you know, eventually somebody's going to hear you and, and give you some interest. And from, from that point, it's still in your court. I mean, you still got to go and do all this stuff and work hard and, and I don't think that'll ever end. But just keep a good head on your shoulders. You know, storms happen, but yeah. they only pass if you let them. I would say take music classes um, as iron sharp, sharpens iron, you're going to meet people that are into music as well and they're going to you know, improve your skills. And I would say YouTube, like you can find anything on YouTube. <laughs> like you can get guitar lessons, you can get piano lessons, you can do whatever you want on YouTube. Play with people would probably be my biggest piece of advice. You're going to learn something new from every different musician you meet. You know, we randomly meet these guys from Hawaii. It's like all of these things can come together and you can never learn enough. Like you can never stop learning. Probably the best advice I've ever heard was that you have to define your goal. Like, there's so many ways to get into music. There's so many things about it. Um, but if you don't know where you're headed, like, there's no way to prepare yourself. So, like, the first thing you have to do is, like, what is my goal? Like, what what is it when I'm, like, when do you make it? You know, like, if you don't know what that ceiling is, then there's no way to reach it. You want to go ahead and share, like, what's the best way to contact you guys or find you guys online? And um, Well, you can find us on Facebook, uh, Sawtell Music Group, if I'm correct. No? No. no. Ask us oh. okay. we, can cut that. we can cut that. Yeah, we can cut How do we find you, Trent? Uh, well, Reverb Nation, just uh, uh, reverbnation.com forward slash Sawtell. It's actually on the back of our CDs. And if you'd like a CD, you can always come to a show. It has show schedules um, on the Reverb Nation. And uh, we also have an email, uh, sawtellmusic at gmail.com if you'd like to get a hold of us. Yeah. And Twitter, and Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, all that Instagram, stuff. Instagram. Sawtell Music. Yeah, any, pretty much any uh, social media, we've, we've pretty much got it covered. So. <laughs> Well, I want to thank you guys for being on the show. It's thank been you. an honor. Thanks for thank having you us. So much. Thanks for thank having you. us. All right. Ireland, I'm coming home to you. Sing the songs of old and new I grab my girl and I hold her tight We'll dance until the morning light And I'll sing to you Cause I love the way you move me Simple thoughts to run away from me I turn into a bloody rose That lies below the skin so deep It tells a tale that's very sweet And I'll say to you Cause I love the way you move And I'll say You move me.
sit and watch the stars ignite underneath that eyelid sky. Swear I found myself that night in the song I sang that gave me life. And I'll sing to you. Cause I love the way you moan. And I'll sing to you. Cause I love the way you moan. Oh, you moan. Thank you.